Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and today you join me with some other phenomenal photographers. I'm here with Michael, Nigel and Maz and we are here in Dingle and we are going to have a challenge. It is a 400 millimeter only challenge. We can only take shots at 400 millimeter and we've got one hour. So be sure to check out all these other guys' videos as well and you can let us know who got the best shots. It's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, but it's most definitely going to be a challenge because we have wind. Let's go. Lots of wind. Right, so what a challenge. Here we go. This is going to be interesting because it is extremely windy. I've left the guys here behind. Maz is running ahead, but yeah. You'd think I might have the upper hand because I know this area, but at 400 mil, that's not going to be easy. But I do think I can pick out a couple of nice things because over here, we have big waves that are breaking. And I'm thinking that's going to be one of my first shots anyway. And I know that I can look back over as well here towards the Three Sisters and Keown Chabel. So yeah, hopefully it works out. Let's see. I'm going to run up this hill now, first of all here, just to see what I can do. And hopefully I'll find something good to start. Right, so my first shot now I have taken here. And as you can see, there is a relentless wind. So it's hard for me to record video, but it's even harder for me to take a shot with my long lens because with the long lens, at 400 mil, it's pretty much fully extended. It goes as far as 650, but at that point, there's not much more in the extension. But what that does is it gives it more circumference to catch this wind. So I'm going for a very, very fast shutter speed. I'm up over one one thousandth of a second. And there's a rock that's breaking over here behind me by Dunquin. And there's some pretty big waves that are hitting it. Now, the challenge is, number one, getting a shot that's going to be sharp. But number two, capturing a shot that's going to convey what is happening within the scene. So this is the first one anyway here. I'll give you a look at it. May not be the best, might be. Who knows when I get it back to have a look at it in detail because it's even hard to look at the back of the camera in regards to the conditions that we have. So yeah, here's the first one now. I wonder if the guy's got their first shot yet. I don't know, we'll probably find them along the way, which I'm going to see another one out that I'm going to take next. Okay, so now the rest of them have gone up behind me up here to the top of Clotter Head, but I'm potentially going to utilize the advantage that I have with knowing this area because when you go to the top up there with a long lens, it's going to be quite difficult because there's not much for you to see other than the islands that are off as I get nearly blown over. It's okay, I'm sheltered here on rocks sitting down, but all of the interesting things are here below me. So you have Clotter Strand uh, onto Clotter over here with the three sisters and then Keown Chabelle, Mount Brandon. And what I've done here is on the very end of Keown Chabelle, there seems to be a very interesting amount of mist that's mist and spray that's coming in there perpetually. So with the 400, it's actually perfect. I can go right into that. Again, I'm at one one thousand of a second to be able to grab that shot. And I think that actually will be a lovely shot. The way the light is there as well, and it looks nice and dark and foreboding as well. And with the brightness of the water, it will be nice. There's also another rock just out to the left of it too, that every so often a big wave crashes against it. So I'm hoping now as well that I've managed to capture a shot of that too. The biggest challenge is getting a sharp shot. I decided to make this even harder for myself and I'm going handheld. Now the reason I figured I go handheld is because I can get a very fast shutter speed so I don't necessarily need to worry about it. But the challenge there is though that every single shot is going to be different because I'm going to move with my hand being moved by the wind. But nonetheless, I still think it will be nice. So here's these ones anyway now and we'll see. I think I saw, it's amazing, I'll say this. There's Michael Shane Bloom right here trying to get his composition. So maybe he has the same idea as me, but hopefully I'll get a better shot. Imagine that, I got a shot better than Michael Chamberlain. Who knows, but let's, here's the shot now and let's see. Now, 
Now, the next thing that I've done is over here on these headlands, there's some really, really big waves. They're not coming that often, but when they are coming, they're crashing and then bouncing backwards, back out again from that. So I'm framing in that shot. I want it to have just the headland. So again, at 400 mil, it actually is perfect for here. The challenge, as always now so far today, is to get a sharp shot and be able to capture that motion within the water. Now, I am going very, very fast on a shutter speed, and that's not going to have much motion, but you should see the impact and as Nick Page would say, the moment within the shot. So as you can see, there's one coming in here now. I don't know if you can or not, but have a look over here, you'll see it. And it just crashes in against there. That's the next shot that I got anyway. So let's see now and hope that that one turns out. I'll give you a look at that. And we're still going to be on the hunt. I don't think I'm going to go any further than here. I let them do all the hiking and all the walking. And I'll stay here for what's interesting. Fingers crossed, it works. Right, so where I'm positioned now at the moment is actually ideal because as the waves come in below me here onto Clotter and with this wind, the wind is taking the tops off the waves. So you're getting a nice flow of mist coming back out again from those. And I think that is a nice shot. Again, as always, I keep saying it, the challenge here is to keep the shot in focus because I have to be very much so sniping the shots out, moving quickly, but I was watching the waves and I saw them and I said, okay, maybe, just maybe I'm about to catch one. And I think, I think I managed to catch one. I'll give you a look at this shot now next. And I'm gonna look around now just below me here as well. Maybe I'll get one more. And then I probably will have to go and find the guys and see how much they're actually struggling. Still not moved from this spot. So below me here, as, as I took inspiration from the shot there when the water was actually breaking or where the wind was taking the tops off the waves, below me as well here, the wind is taking the tops off the wave. But the way I'm situated with the sun is I'm getting the ever most faintest rainbows as well in the water. So it's purely fortuitous from where I am. I'm sure if the guys have the same thing with the waves breaking further on out, they may get the same shots. But for me, looking at them here, I don't know if you can see any that are breaking, but they are actually happening. I have to be very much so looking through the viewfinder, watching the waves, seeing one coming in, hoping that the wind will take the top off the wave and then grabbing the shot. But looking in the back of the camera, I think I might have gotten one anyway. I don't know how colorful it is, maybe at the faintest, but definitely something different anyway in utilizing this windy condition, these waves, the sun, and my position. So yeah, here's the next one. I am now going to go back up here behind me. I'm going to find the guys, and like I said, hopefully I'll find them and they're struggling. I think Michael's over there somewhere and Mass is behind me. Um, and Darren, I don't know where he is, not seen Darren. But he's a local, so he's, um, he's got an unfair advantage, I think. Right, so Nigel just passed me there and as suspected, he said he was finding it hard. And you know what, I'm not surprised because there is so much here. I mean, look at this for a playground to be able to have this challenge in, in the first place anyway, but also then just be fixed at 400 mil is difficult. Now, behind me, there is kind of a jaggedy rock. I don't know if you can see it or not, even if my description is giving it a good thing, but I'll give you some separate B-roll of it. But I've taken a shot of that now as well, but I'm really being exposed to the wind uh, right now. So it is difficult. And you know, with the camera then as well, side onto the wind, it's catching the wind and moving it as well. But hopefully I managed to get a shot, one 1,250th of a second, to be able to have it as sharp and as fast as I possibly can. Hopefully I've nailed it, I don't know, but it might be a nice shot. But again, I think I've gotten some good ones already, so the rest of these now are just purely a bonus. Give you a look at that there now, next, and then, yeah, I'm gonna try and find the rest of them, and like I said, hopefully, they're all struggling, hopefully.
All right, well, <laughs> this is the most challenging shoot that I've ever had. Just the uh, restrictions on time. If you watch my videos, you know I'm not much of a pressure photographer. I usually take my time, so having one hour is quite challenging. Also, this wind is crazy. I mean, every once in a while it'll go away and then it'll just gust insane amounts of power to the point where it feels like you're almost knocking over. So I can't do a long exposure. That's not really gonna work. Now also, the sun is behind me and we're facing into, we're facing directly away from the sun. So the polarizer doesn't really have a strong effect on all this haze in the distance. So. I am finding this very, very challenging. And I guess that's why we're calling it a challenge. <laughs> all right, I came all the way back. Oh, is it, they usually don't see this in my videos. How much I run, oh my God, that was big. That's what she said. <laughs> Shh. So I met up with Maz on the way back down. Maz, how'd you get on, man? I think I will win. You think? Yeah. I had rainbows. I will still win. Had you waves. I had waves and rainbows. Yeah, I will still win. We'll have to see about that. Let us know in the comments below who got the better shot. If I get a better shot than the legendary Maz Peter Everson, then guess what? I deserve something. Let me know in the comments what I deserve below. So yeah, there's a strict time limit on this challenge of one hour and Maz has told me that if you're not back in the spot where you started off from in one hour, you are disqualified. Now, he boldly said that because he was back and the others weren't, he was going to win this challenge. Like, outrageous. I mean, how can he even dare say that? Do you know what I mean? But anyhow, so he's back and Michael is just up here and Nigel is just over there. So yeah, I'm back on time anyway and yeah, I think I've won, but let's see who did. Right, so after all the frantic running around that the guys did, like I said, I was smart and I just found myself a lovely seat over here and took in all the beauty. Now, there was a time limit. We had to be back here, bang on the hour. I met Maz and he was running, so I said, okay, hang on, I better follow him. Nigel was a small bit late, but Michael is below here and I know he's probably getting lost in the rainbows that I got in yeah. my shot. So, yeah. you got rainbows? Yeah, I got rainbows. You're getting rainbows? Nope. And a, no, and a long rainbows. exposure that I think was pretty good. But we will see, I've got to edit it yet. And it was quite windy, I was like so. Yes, <laughs> and I also had the challenge by going handheld. So yeah. everything I tried to turn this way, it was turning me left, and the other way it turned me right. If you want to see all their images, of course, go watch their videos, because you'll see how they got on in the beautiful area here in a challenge of wind and light. Click so, subscribe and like. Yes. And comment. All yes, those things. All those things. Yes. <laughs> so thank you very much as always for joining the episode. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the adventure with these awesome guys. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall. Good. Schlange Fall. Schlange Fall. Schlange Fall. Yeah, Schlange Fall. Bye for now in Irish. Yeah.